Hey everyone, this is Brian with Aero Teardrops, and in this video segment, we're gonna talk about our on-demand hot water heater system that we uh, offer as an option on our teardrops and uh, steel and burn side models. It is uh, packaged with our 20 gallon fresh water system. That is, uh, the tank is located underneath the trailer. And we're gonna do a walkthrough on how to operate the system. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure your propane system is live. And the propane tank is located over here on the driver's side of the trailer. We've got our propane tank and side mount here and dual stage regulator. This system has a uh, Propex um, furnace in it. So it has the uh, built-in um, propane system and what we would do on another, uh, if you just did the shower, is the, the propane would be configured a little bit differently, but we can get into that later. So you're gonna wanna make sure your tank is on. The valve is on the top of the tank here, and you're gonna turn the valve counterclockwise until it stops. And now your propane system is live and ready to, ready to be used. On the shower side, we've got quick disconnects here. So this front, quick disconnect is your propane hose. And um, behind that, you have your inlet for the water tank and your outlet for the pressurized side of the water system. And this is what we will use with the hot water heater. So I'm gonna show you how that works now. It's secure here in this nice case. There's four latches. You're gonna open all of these latches. The door is going to swing open. And here's the hot water heater. It's an on-demand hot water heater. Um, so it only operates when you're using the water. And we provide all of the hoses to connect the system. So there's a little bit of color coding to this. You've got your blue wire, or your blue wire, I'm sorry, your blue hose for the cold pressurized side of the system. So that's gonna to connect to your outlet on the water system and to the inlet on the hot water heater. Then you're gonna connect your propane hose. That's the black rubber hose. Take the dust caps off. And each end of the hose is going to connect to the quick releases. And then you're going to turn the valves on at each quick release. The nice thing is, is that you won't be able to disconnect this hose until these um, valves are shut off. These quick connects will not operate until everything is closed. It's a little bit of a safety factor there. And then the last thing you're going to connect is your hot water hose with the shower head. The shower head has an on off valve. So when it is pushed in this direction, it's off. And when it's in this direction, it's on. So I always like to have the valve off and then connect the hose to the shower and clip it here in the door. And now you can pressurize the cold water side of the system. So you're going to turn the pump on here in the galley this switch right here activates the electric water pump that is uh, located next to the water tank. And when that is on, you can now turn this ball valve on. It's located underneath here. You're gonna turn that on to let allow the flow of water into the shower. And you'll hear everything turn on. There's an igniter in here that's powered by a couple of D batteries that are located in this door here. You've got two settings on the hot water heater. This is your flow setting here, and this is your temperature setting here. And this produces some really nice hot water. So now that the system is pressurized, it's ready to be used. And you just simply turn the valve on here, and it'll pressurize. It takes a little second to work all the water through the system, but now you've got hot pressurized water. There's a couple of different flows that you can do here.
and you'll hear the igniter go until it ignites the propane right now because we just activated the system it's working the you know the air out of the system so that's why you hear the igniter uh, clicking over so much but once all the air is bled out of it it'll it'll click a few times and you'll hear it ignite and you'll instantly have hot water he here another nice uh, use for this too is if you have a side table here you can set up your dish tubs and use this hot water to wash your dishes so you've got a nice shower and a nice way to clean off your dishes from camping. And then to um, put the system away, you just reverse the process. So first thing I'll do is I'll turn the uh, propane off. So you're gonna have to make sure that both of these valves are in the off position. And the reason I do that is just so that this doesn't ignite you know, while I'm unhooking everything. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to shut the ball valve off for the outlet on the water tank. So that is now shut off and you can let the pressure out of the hot water heater. It's nice to do. I always want to let the pressure out too, because if you unhook it there, you could, you know, get a nice little hose off of, uh, of pressurized water. So I'll let the pressure out of the system and I'll just leave this valve open while it sits here. And I'm going to disconnect the hot side and that way it'll allow the water to run out of the hose. So when you pack it away, you know, all the water is drained out of the system. So we're gonna unhook the fresh water side now. Same thing, I'll unhook the bottom one first and let everything drain out. You'll hear everything kind of drain out. While that's, while that's doing that, I'll undo the propane hose. And then I'll just start stowing the hoses away. So they just drape in here over the hot water heater. Everything stows away nice. I think we've got all of our water out of the hoses now. Yep, looks that way. This hose kind of tucks in here. The shower head down here to the side fits really nicely. And then you can take your cold water hose, disconnect that, drain all the water out of it. And that's gonna coil over the top here. You're gonna take your dust covers and put your, insert the dust covers back into the propane quick connects. Make sure again that all the valves are off. And then you can close the door on the enclosure. We'll latch everything closed. And it's ready for travel. You don't necessarily need to turn the propane system off at this point if you're still going to use it. But if you're packing up to leave, you wanna make sure that your valve is off on your propane tank as well. And that's our uh, on-demand hot water heater.